we have a very special guest, Ken yeah. Lazebnik. Excellent. We said it right. Yes. Okay. Great it's to be great here. Great, great to, to have here. you here, yeah. and you are the playwright of this uh, great new production that is just have got such a buzz all over Los Angeles called On the Spectrum. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to find out, Ken. First of all, what inspired you to write this? Yeah. Well, it's very personal to me. Uh, I have uh, two nephews and a niece who are on the spectrum, and I've been very engaged with their lives over the last 20 years. Okay. And um, How old is, are they? Well, now the eldest is 22, okay. and then there's a 17-year-old, and then a 13-year-old okay. in Israel, actually, mm. um, the niece. Um, but uh, over the years, this has been a subject that obviously I've been very personally engaged with. By the way, I have to insert here, love your show. Oh, this thank is, you. I was watching this, waiting. Great, great show. Wonderful you. service you provide. Thank um, you. Thank you. So, we love uh, doing it. And it looks do. great. It's a great looking show. Um, so, <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. you know, well, we appreciate yeah, we that. We like you coming here. <laughs> um, Especially so, somebody with your background. Yes, My gosh, absolutely. your resume is quite impressive. It is. Well, well um, in terms of the interest in, in writing about these, these characters, yes. um, my uh, initial play about um, about that sort of investigated autism okay. uh, was uh, commissioned by the Mixed Blood Theater in Minnesota, which okay. is a strange name for a theater, but it's a pioneer in multiracial casting and colorblind casting, and has over the last ten years done a lot of plays that investigate issues about disability. Okay. Um, and so that play, uh, Vestibular Sense, they all have sort of these. You know, I, I was yeah, saying great. before vestibular we started, sense. I love the titles of yes. your plays. They're absolutely right. wonderful. So you have Vestibular Sense. Sense. That was and your then, first one. That was my first one. The, uh, then I wrote a play a few years later for Cincinnati Playhouse in the Park uh, to tour to young audiences. Mm -hmm. okay. And this was called Theory of Mind, mm -hmm. uh -huh. which was a smaller, great name. A smaller, shorter piece, mm -hmm. really about a young man in Los Angeles trying in high school, trying to take a young woman out on a date, mm. and things go wrong. He's mm -hmm. on the spectrum, she's not, and there's misunderstandings. And, and then the Mixed Blood Theater was producing that play, mm -hmm. and the director of that theater, Jack Ruler, was getting a lot of engagement with the online community, which mm -hmm. as, you know, as you know, it's growing, 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 yes. burgeoning. Um, and especially, he started engaging with some people who were sort of online activists, investigating the interesting question of, you know, is autism a disability or a difference? Mm -hmm. And he thought that question was interesting, and he said, would you like to write a third play that sort of deals with that? Mm -hmm. And so I was thrilled to be asked and thrilled to write it. It, it is a love story. Yes. It's a love story between two people on the spectrum. Okay. And I thought that um, it's, it's, as I say, I tried to make it as close to my own experience as I could. Um, it's uh, very much uh, about a young man who's very high functioning. Um, Asperger's. Who, Asperger's, who has um, uh, worked his whole life very uh, with his mother. His um, mother is the autism warrior mom yes, who has done yes, every right. intervention, Absolutely. every behavior therapy, yep. every and her, her life. And, and from my understanding, her goal is that he is going to be included, right. and that and that in a large sense, people can meet him, and on first meeting, they right. have no idea. He can pass the bar of neurotypical, yes, right. that magical thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Under certain circumstances, not so much. Exactly. exactly. But most of the time, right. uh, and, and I like the term they use that that passing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, and that, that to the mom, right. that's really, really important. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And he's about to apply to law school, and she's very nervous about this. And they hit a financial crisis. Mm -hmm. um, and he goes online to look for a job and ends up through his online search meeting a young woman. And their initial engagement is strictly online. Mm -hmm. she, what the audience sees initially that he doesn't is that she is very heavily affected. And yes. that her communication non -verbal. online. Nonverbal. Nonverbal. Um, well, she, she uses... In, in you know, a variety of you right. know, things. She uses yeah. aug augmentative communication yes. device, you know, a proloquo. Uh -huh. Right. And so technically non vocal. Yes. But she, but she, does, she does, has does some words. Oh, she yes. Some no, words. And, she, and she does by, and, and then once they meet, she does, as she says, I do a lot of things. I play right. with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And she does speak. It's just, mm -hmm. 
it's uh, what should I say forced speech. It's you know mm -hmm. it's not right. comfortable. And right. she has a lot of what we know in the autism community as stems yes. Yes. or self stimulatory behaviors. Right. Exactly. Okay. And so really, I don't want to give too much away. Okay. But yeah, we don't want to give it away because we want everybody watching that can go see it to go see it. I'm going to come. I've not seen the play. I'm going next Thursday. We're having a talk back after yeah. the performance yes. with uh, actually Jacqueline Schultz, yeah. the director. And can I can I just insert here? Yes. This, the Fountain Theater is one of the great treasures of LA. Jacqueline, who's a fantastic director, has just directed this production beautifully. Um, she's been very engaged. And over 10 years, I think she's directed I don't know how many shows for the help group. Yes. So she is, this is yes. her world. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Stephen Sachs, who's the uh, one of the two artistic directors of the theater, mm -hmm. uh, they're married, and, and, and Stephen's, you know, a great, a great person, too. Um, so I can't speak highly enough of just this wonderful production and, and the fantastic cast that you'll get a chance to meet. Yeah. Two they of them. are going to be with us, yeah. the two romantic leads. Yes. Yes. Now, casting them, let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah. That must have been a pretty daunting challenge because you do you want to cast two people that are you don't want to get criticism from the autism exactly. community right. that these exactly. are not realistic betrayals right. how did you go about casting it well um it was it was a, it was a difficult process and we were very very sensitive to that i should maybe go back a step to say that in minnesota the director there, Jack Ruler, was very committed to the idea of casting people who were on the spectrum. Right. And, and in fact, you did have uh, the did. girl played yeah. by someone who Laura was on Robinson, the spectrum. Laura Robinson, who was fantastic. Laura, who's not an actress, but right. it comes from my hometown, Columbia, mm -hmm. Missouri. Mm -hmm. Yay, Columbia. And, <laughs> and she, um, I had just shared the script with her, and she said, you know, I really love this. I, and I said, I knew Jack was trying to find someone on the spectrum to play the role. He was having difficulty uh, in Minnesota and I s said you know uh, would you be interested in reading yeah. and she did and he cast her mm -hmm. and it was a remarkable performance um, sure. as you know Virginia's performance is is equally stunning mm -hmm. um, so it was just a different philosophy that was the Minnesota kind of philosophy sure. mm -hmm. um, but here in Los Angeles um, you know Jacqueline Stephen who uh, are just consummate people of the theater mm -hmm. went through a very extensive search, and I'm thrilled with the cast we have. They are Wonderful. deeply committed to authenticity. Yeah. Um, they, I mean, they'll tell you their own their own right, stories right. about how they, and how maybe they investigated and, and researched. How they learned. Right. But they are wonderful. And yeah. Jeannie Hackett, who plays the mother, is a spectacular actress. So I just couldn't be happier with the the cast here. But it was hard because exactly you want to make sure that there is a level of authenticity because the mm -hmm. last thing you want to do is have yeah you the I was hearing you speak about compassion earlier yeah. I mean for me what's been wonderful about both productions mm -hmm. is that people on the spectrum parents on the spectrum of uh, parents of kids uh, therapists have come and totally embraced the production and we can always tell when there's uh, either a parent or a therapist in the audience, because there's certain laugh lines. Yeah, those little yeah. buzzwords. Yeah, yeah, right. Get it. right. Yeah. Interesting. And I, you know, we talked a little bit about the play, and we don't want to give too much away, but I, I do want to go back and say that it seems the central question here is something that comes up a lot in our community. Mm -hmm. This idea of, you know, we have on the one hand the mom who is concerned about having the the, the young man overcome and fit in with society, but then there's another point of view of maybe you should just accept me for who I am and the exactly. fact that the I'm a young different. woman in That's the play. her point of view. That's her point of view right. is that, you know, the world needs to adjust to us more yes. than we right. need to adjust to the world. And this exactly. is something we encounter quite often in yes. our community. And yeah. it's a fine line we walk because we don't want it to appear that when we say, you know, there is a chance for recovery yeah. when children are very young and can get the proper interventions, right. Right. that there is something bad about right. being having autism. Right. Right. Uh, it, it is a fine line. We want to respect the differences, and we certainly know there are many, many high-functioning individuals out there who are very happy with who they yes. are. Uh, we were talking about Alex Plank, who yes. we had on the show mm -hmm. on Monday, who Amazing runs Wrong Plank. Mm -hmm. He, as he said, I'm still autistic. If I mm -hmm. take the, the test, I test as autistic. Mm -hmm. And I said, and Shannon agreed, if if my son grows up to be like you, Alex, I will be very happy, no yeah. matter where he falls right. on what spectrum. Yeah. And, and, and as a playwright, I thought that's what's fascinating, is yes. it is a real conflict, a conflict both of attitude and aspirations and desires. And I try hard not to 
you know, be, uh, what should I say, sh sh to, to preach either yeah. side, but mm -hmm. to try to let each side have its Absolutely. day in court mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and let that conflict play out. And I thought the fact that these two people are in love, yeah. to me, hopefully sends this message of there's, there's, a, there's a, a middle ground or there's a we can way transcend. we can, you can yes. transcend. Yeah. Love transcends yeah. everything, really. Yeah. I mean, it sounds maybe cliche, but, but it's, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. And we actually have a clip, and it, we should warn folks at home that it has some adult themes in it. Mm -hmm. There's right. nothing inappropriate, but there are some right. adult themes. So if you have the little ones watching, you might, might, might be aware of that. But some of the things we've just talked about are hit upon in these series of clips. So yeah. we'll take a look and see. These are some scenes from On the Spectrum. the tyranny of the masses. Can the badger speak with an English accent? I don't know. We could use Graham. He's, he's one of the British voices in Proloquo. Like a computer-generated voice. It's the one I use. And Matt, I think she's scamming you. No! I don't know what else to call it. She's got you working for free. She's going to pay. When? She said she paid! I don't believe her. She went oh, oh. Don't get it! She will! 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 Do we have sex now? <laughs> I, I think we're supposed to make out some more first. And then, and then we have sex. I don't have a condom. Oh, that's a problem. I, I didn't know that this was going to happen. Me, me neither. If I knew that this was a possibility, I would have stopped at a CVS to buy a condom. <laughs> Although, I'm not sure what kind to buy. It's like laundry detergent. There's so many options. <laughs> but the world owes you nothing. The world does not owe you, Iris. You cannot expect the world to reach out to you. If there were a pill, that would take away his autism, you would give it to him. Wouldn't you? And Phil now, yes, dear reader, Phil now with love. There's the website where Absolutely. you can go to get tickets, but you're selling out, I understand. We're doing really well. I'm very, very happy with it. But there are tickets available. <laughs> okay. okay. People so we, people can go yeah. to uh, Fountain Theater, all one word together, dot com, theater spelled uh, T H E A T R E. And the number is 323 663 1525. I cannot wait to see the play on and, Thursday. And you're seeing the play, and then there is a talk back afterwards. There's a talk back afterwards with some uh, a specialist from the help group and uh, maybe a few other guests. And we'll be talking about. I think probably our experience with autism in in society in the real world and how it pertains to the play and mm -hmm. I'm sure for me it's going to be very interesting because with an 11 year old who I see is starting to get into that tween age oh and you know asking me like he comes up and he'll kiss me on the lips and I'm trying to explain to him you know that's not how we kiss mommy you know anymore yep. mm -hmm. yep. we give mom a kiss here and you know these issues of love sexuality yep. right. very very it, it's a tough time for parents right. with children with autism. Which, so. and, and, it, and it's what's fascinating to me always is that their children move through developmental phases mm -hmm. and to try to parse out what is a normal developmental strangeness or growth or weirdness and then what is part of a diagnosis. Yes. It's like so heavily interwoven together. It's oh, really, it? really challenging. <laughs> it very. Yeah. And you I'm sure experienced yeah. that with your yeah. niece and nephews. Yeah. And 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 the um and in fact um when my nephew was a teenager mm -hmm. and exploring all right, I really love to have a girlfriend, this is gonna be tough. 
that prompted the really the, the script that of Theory of Mind. Yeah, there's uh, also a wonderful movie that just came out called The Story of Luke. Yes. And we had Alonzo Mayer oh, wow. on the show. Yeah. You Mayer, might want to yes. look that up. Yeah. And yes. then we had Lou, Don Lou Taylor Pucci. Yes. The young actor is mm. remarkable. Wow. So check okay. that out. I know it's... You can get it on Amazon right now. Okay. Um, the they, Story of Luke. Yes. Okay. You'll want to check amazing, that out. It's wow. yeah. an amazing okay. film. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what are your aspirations for the, for the play, Ken? Well, I would love for it to continue to reach a wider audience. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, I, I love this production. And, you know, if I could wave a magic wand and move this production to regional theaters around America. I still feel as though there's uh, one more piece of work I'd love to do. And you know how it is with theaters. You always want to do one more fix. Yeah. So I would love to get one more shot at a little revision. Uh -huh. um, and I would, I, I, what I found is that it connects with people um, in the community in this very profound way. And that we, you know, we, we, when we were in Minnesota, we got this call from somebody in St. Louis saying, can you bring this to St. Louis? And, mm -hmm. you know, can you bring this to Atlanta? And I will say, because of the beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous technical work, you'll see there's computer animation mm -hmm. that's yes. quite spectacular. It's not quite so easy to travel. It's okay. not designed really as like a trap, pick it up and travel with a right. show. It's more, you have to, you know, have a production. Well, then again, theater. neither was Cirque du Soleil. Well, there you that. go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So, well, uh, can they, if, if anybody is interested around the country, that should they contact you at the Fountain please, Theater? Please, okay. do. please right. do. All right, if you're watching today and you'd yeah. like to bring this production to your city, uh, Ken is open. And yeah. we found out during the break that you're uh, practically autism royalty, that your sister also uh, has, has written some books on autism. Cl one that I happen to own, one of the first <laughs> books I read on autism. So it's Small it's, World. Yeah, Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, so, uh, yeah. excuse me. Claire scoble Lezebnik has written two wonderful books yes. uh, about uh, the experience of parenting on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. She wrote them in collaboration with Dr. Lynn Cagle, Lynn Cagle, who runs the UCSB Autism Clinic. Very familiar with Dr. Yeah. Cagle, yes. And, uh, so she and she's wonderful. The books are great. Well, yes. We're gonna have we're gonna get her on the show. Great, we're gonna get Absolutely. her number from you after and, this. And and also I, I can't leave without saying, but you also are somebody who is a frequent writer on the Prairie Home Companion and also yeah. co-wrote uh, the movie uh, by the same title. And I'm a yeah. huge we huge love, fan. We well, love. Can I love quickly it. say that Garrison yes. Keillor is the real thing. He is the oh, most prolific oh, genius I I've ever that. met. So I, when I I always say it, especially. if folks in the business that it's not as though he has like writers hidden away or something. Oh, really? I, uh, I always said I when I was working on the radio show I wrote the five minutes of the two hours that he didn't and that's literally true. <laughs> I mean he is Wonderful. unbelievably prolific. Well thanks wow. for not bursting our bubble. Today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right now we have uh, the but two leads, leads uh, in this and so we don't we we don't want to we could talk to you all hour. <laughs> no no yeah. we want to talk to Virginia we, and Dan. We want to get great. Virginia and Dan out here Absolutely. so we're going to say goodbye to you yeah, and I will you. see you Thursday Great. and we will you know and everybody please see. go see this play awesome okay. Okay.